What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. As you can see, Diodora on the box. You can probably see a little orange poking out, but I'll do the size thing first. V7000 Inner City, Scottish retailer Hannon. Uh, teamed up with Diodora to give you this V7000, obviously dubbed the inner city. This is a size UK 10, which is US 10 and a half. I did go half a size down technically because I wear 10 and a half 11, but the V7000 you generally runs closer to true to size than the N9000, so be on the lookout for that. If you are trying to pick them up, go TTS. Um, let's just pop this bad boy open. No differential on the box. A lot of the Diodora boxes look like this on the GR side, but this is a collaboration. You got a nice little dust bag. Shout out to Jack Caban. I'm gonna throw up his Instagram. He hooked me up. Uh, basically hit me up and was like, I live really close and uh, if you need the assist, let me know. So I, I pulled the trigger on that. They were easy to get online, so that's why they're a little bit later than if I got them from the retailer, but definitely a good look from Jack. Thank you very much for that. Like I said, his Instagram will be up here if you guys wanna maybe shoot him a, a heads up or some shit, maybe you need something in the future, maybe he can help you out. Anyway, you got the dust bag, whatever, pretty simple, pretty clean. You got the Hannon logo, Diodora logo, nothing too crazy on that. You got the orange paper with the Hannon and Diodora, Tannen logo, Diodora logo, and then I'm just gonna pull the kicks out so you can see what they look like. Get the box out of the way. Bang, bang. Uh -huh. Anyway, you got a couple of different materials on the shoe itself, but let's get into the colorway first. So obviously it's got that orange and blue are the, the major colors that are in the shoe. The leather on the upper area is kangaroo leather. Again, with the teal colorway down here, like the light blue colorway is also kangaroo. You got pigskin suede on the other suede portions of the shoe, which is very, very clean, very, very soft, good brush strokes to it. I, even, I haven't even hit them with a the brush yet, so you can still see the brush strokes in there, which is very nice. And you got a mesh toe box, which is really soft as well. It's not like that ballistic mesh you'll see in a lot of other stuff um, material from Hannon is always on point whether you're getting a GR or a collaboration which is what I really appreciate about them but getting into the detail of the shoe we're looking at the lateral side on the upper portion you got the kangaroo leather on the underlay on the upper portion and the grommet area leading down into the front of the sneaker towards the toe box area all kangaroo leather you got the pigskin suede on the Diodora logo which is also very supple and soft then you got that light blue tealish hit going across that mid paneling which is very clean as well I think that's what broke the shoe up for me and made me really want to cop is just that little accent very clean which is also kangaroo leather and then you got the pigskin suede in this royal blue going across the rest of the toe capping leading into the medial side and the heel counter area you got V7000 stitched into the lateral side on the heel portion. Diodora stitched into the back of the heel portion on the left shoe and the right shoe has the Hannon Flame stitched in which is very clean as well. Always love Hannon stuff. They do really great work. I like their collaborations a lot. Heel counter again you got a little white strap here going across in leather. I would assume it's kangaroo since the rest of the leather is kangaroo and we'll stick with that. You got that teal color again on the upper heel counter and the window area. Very clean, nice little accents. And then the medial side is mirrored from the lateral side. So I'll keep this one down here on the lateral side and then we'll do the medial side so you can see just how much they are the same. Obviously you got the kangaroo leather again in the orange. You got an orange grommet towards the upper area. It's the hard plastic for the last lace, which is nice. Doubled up, very clean. You can see the doubled up leather as well across the grommet area. Attention to detail is definitely there. Like I said, it's mirrored, so orange, pigskin suede. You got the teal suede there again, or the teal leather again, and then the rest of the uh, royal blue pigskin going across the rest of the shoe. Midsole is white, no differentials until you get to the outsole, which has got that teal hit in four different locations. White towards the mid portion, the rest is black. Overall, very clean shoe, well executed, and you did get some extra laces. You got a teal colorway, which might look nice in there, but as Tone would say, this is a, a white lace jump off right now. So I'm definitely gonna throw the white laces in this bad boy just to break the shoe up a little bit. Uh, tongue has got the, the leather again as well, kangaroo leather across the entire tongue. You got a Hannon logo on one tongue and then you got a Hannon logo on the other tongue. So I like that they kept it symmetrical on that aspect. You got footbeds. The footbeds are both orange with the Hannon logo and the Diodora logo in that little box action. So you got a box with Diodora on parallel sides and Hannon on the other parallel sides and the Diodora logo in one. And obviously asymmetrical with the boxes doing the, the Hannon logo with the flame in the other box. Very clean, well done, like it a lot. Anyway, if you guys like the video, shoot a thumbs up because you know how I love those. Comments are always appreciated. If you guys want to talk about some other stuff, once again, shout outs to Jack for the pickup and the assist on these. And uh, I think I'm going to get out of here. Peace.